He says, oh yeah, O'Donnell Levy. I said, playing like that? I didn't teach him that. <laughs> I mean, it's, he had just went completely out of, out of, he's just went out. Once he got into Peabody and brought him out, then he spent a lot of time in, in, in Singapore that people don't know. He did commercials for China, for the Singapore area, for Asia. He stayed over there for many years. He came back and recorded my CD with me here in his studio. So uh, I know him well. I've been knowing him from his growing up days on Gil in the Gilmore Project. Well, I got a question for you, Mr. Wilson. When you think of where our musicians are today in terms of uh, multi-million dollar contracts and some of the videos, what's your take uh, on paying homage? Do you see our young musicians today paying homage to people of your genre, people of your era? I mean, you paved the way and opened the door for so many people, but do we remember are we paying homage? Are we carrying on the tradition as we should? Not like we should. There, well, how so? There are a number of great musicians, and I can name a few. Warren Wolf, uh, um, uh, Joel Holmes, a couple of musicians, of, of young musicians who are coming out, uh, Craig Austin, who have gone back to find out the roots of that music. But there's also a bunch of musicians who are trying to escape the knowledge of what Bird and Diz and uh, and and uh, and Miles did. Um, uh, we can't get past that heritage. It's impossible to get past that heritage. And as a musician, you need to know those are the ABCs. Well, I, I raise that question because if we're not careful, our culture will be lost. When I think of jazz, I think of African American classical music, and increasingly, others are taking on the genre. They 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 are shining they, as if we didn't create it. They they are. They are. That is the shame of it all. And and that there are musicians who are just jumping on well you see the technology now. You can buy a keyboard that will play all of your music for you. You can sit in front of a computer and record it and suddenly you got a CD. That doesn't make the music. The other part of that is that there are a lot of stations I do, I, I, and I'm not chastising anybody, but there are a lot of stations who are not putting forth the effort uh, uh, to channel that, that music and that culture out to the community. My statement has always been, so goes the culture, so goes the community. The two are tied together. Um, you cannot escape that. You can see that in, in, in all the neighborhoods when you see um, uh, um, uh, what the what the cultural arts are doing. The other thing is is that scientists now has has uh, um, definite proof that arts and academics go together. The more arts, the more academics. Yes. Your, your 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 academic scores. Well, I, I see you raring up there, missing uh, <laughs> Dr. Ingram Levy. Uh, they've taken music out. You know, when I was a little boy, they had uh, we had a full orchestra in elementary school, mm -hmm. um, gym, gym class. Mm -hmm. These things are no more. Well, Amazingly. Yeah, down in physics, uh, there is a unit called a sound energy, and one must go over music. I can tell you all about music. But I cannot play. <laughs> but I could tell you the physics about music and sound and rhythm and pitch and. So I haven't forgotten Baltimore City Public School headquarters, where they say we have some of the best schools in the country. We don't have orchestras anymore. We don't have gym class. How is it the best? That's why you have to. And who keeps that. telling us these lies? Lies, lies. They're all lies. Let me bring up a point, an issue right now, and I'd like to talk about Mr. Charles Fun. Who he taught me trombone. Who produced yeah. some of the best young musicians in this town. The program has Dunbar. been devastated. Dunbar has devastated. The but we can program. find money for a flat screen TV down at Camden Yard. We sure can. Where's the lottery money at? <laughs> that that that's another issue that that. Yeah, it is. Now they want to give us slots. When it first started it's out. It's a lottery on crack. When it when it <laughs> when it first started out. I understood that that lottery money was supposed to go to Lies, lies. They're all lies. I agree with you 100%.